that thriller to Alex Alguathil. 4-3, it was a late, late winner for Alex, but at the moment he has six points. Meanwhile, Alex and Etarito are playing on the other set of screens, and it's goalless after four minutes. So, because we've had a slight delay in proceedings for the game between Alex Algathiel and Etarito, in order to make it fair as both results matter to both games, we will at half time. What a save, meanwhile, from Pedacek in that game there to deny Alex Algathiel. Uh, we will at half time between Henry Quino and Sofia. They will pause and wait for the other game to get to half time. So, we are level in the second half, and there has been a goal in this game. And it's a goal for Alex Algathiel, which means he will top the group as things stand. 1-0, he's not wasted any time at all. And it was pretty route one in terms of its delivery. And Abamyang right there, a couple of yards out from Friends goal. or foes, both in the co-ops together, Spaniard and the Italian. And of course, uh, they know each other's game inside out, playing together. So... Uh, It'll be interesting to see who deals with the opponent's weaknesses better. So yeah. far, Alex has the advantage. Yeah, they're the only two players who are playing one-on-one -on -one and co-op on this finals day. And also, they're the only two in a dual nationality co-op team. But yeah, they won't be too friendly right now, I wouldn't imagine. And we'll stay with this match. Yeah, so we'll stay with this match until half-time, and then we will flick between the two as the other game will get underway at the exact same time so that the scores matter. It is Arsenal all the way in Group B. Mkhitaryan is possessed by Koscielny. Look at this creative midfielder, Laurent Koscielny. Yeah, where, where's he been hiding that? Using a lot of wide play here, Alex Agathiel, he got a lot of joy in his previous game and he's utilising it again here. The goal obviously coming from a wide area, crossed into the danger area. This time it's a little bit more narrow for the goal, but surely no, it's gone wide of the target and it's hit the stanchion. It's a big chance, wasn't it, Andy? I thought that was in initially. It took me a couple of seconds. I thought that was a goal. Your eyes were deceiving you. Maybe you should have been wearing one of the official sponsors, Kuiper's Eyewear, and they may have uh, helped you there. Sixty minutes gone, Arsenal won under the guidance of Etorito. Alex in possession with the blue of Arsenal, Bayerin. Maitland Niles to Mikatarian, back with Bayerin inside the box. The danger is there, Mikatarian. He took a while to tee up his ball. He gets the oh, ball back, it's and it's a great goal. That is an Arsenal goal, one all. Alex is back in it. Absolutely majestic PES 2018 play from Alex Agathiel. Trying to calmly show his celebration there, but it was absolutely incredible. The one-touch football, the tick attacker that we saw in one of the previous games, he's utilised it again there. And when he's on that sort of form, there's no one in the whole of the world at Pez that can deal with him. A brilliant goal. I mean, just look at it. It's incredible. And Pedacek had absolutely no chance. He was basically on the edge of the six-yard box just for a simple tap-in. And a little sigh of relief there from Alex because obviously trailing to a teammate in your co-ops when you're playing the 1v1s is not ideal because they know how to stifle you, I'm sure. Well, stifle you was impossible there. It is intriguing some of the celebrations because you'd think you'd be pumped up and excited there but that was relief wasn't mm. it? Absolute relief from Alex. Well because he knows if Sofia wins his game and goes six goes to six points if Eterita were to win this which he might as well do. Oh controversial the well offside, offside flags oh, raised. Come on come on Adam that was oh, well off. <laughs> Just when Etorito was off celebrating, shirt was over his head. <laughs> it's been brought back for an offside flag, and rightly so, of course. But yeah, if uh, Etorito wins this and Sofia wins this, Alex Algathiel is crashing out. So that is why the sigh of relief happened when Alex got that equalising goal. 
all to play for still as we approach half time in this second game and then once they're both at half time at the same time we will start proceedings in the second half check for the blue arsenal of Alex There's still 15 minutes to go in this opening half full of drama so far as we expected this was probably the biggest titanic battle so far today that we've seen in terms of the pedigree of the players it's Rito to remind you won his first match against Hemrakinio 3-2 but then lost to Sofia 2-1 no one really knows what to do with it no. I think they're so on edge they're aren't they both players they're certainly cancelling each other out and like you said because they've played together so much they know how each other teams tick and they can nullify that very well which sometimes doesn't show for great billing but of course it's thoroughly important in the scheme of things as Eterito comes down this right hand side and it's a chance open up here Alex Algathia was all over the place there on this left hand side but he's fortunate that Pedacek came to his rescue so the ball gets played back to him five minutes remaining will we see another goal I don't think so based on what we're, we're looking at at the moment I think both teams are quite content to just keep the ball look you can see that with Bayer in there from Alex's perspective he didn't really want to push on maybe he will now well back Maitland-Niles Abamyang was the target just inside the box but that's a wasted manoeuvre I mean, they must know that a draw is potentially not good enough it might be but it might not be so it would be very risky to play for that draw oh that's that's really poor Ooh. but luckily Bayerin is able to sort out his own mess Maitland-Niles to Bayerin Koscielny in Koscielny style clearing the ball away that is the half-time whistle so one all between Alex Alguathil and Etorito meanwhile Sofia 2-1 up against Hemrakinio they are now both at the same point they've caught up with one another so these two second halves will run parallel to one another and it's all still to play for in group B right at the end of this group stage what what a what a day we're having yeah this group this group is going right to the death of course we could see any one of the four players still going through to the knockout stages the man from Brazil the man from Spain the man from Italy and finally, are you going to enlighten me, Andy? Where's the final player from? Japan. The man from Japan, of course. The first player ever to win from the Asia region if he were to do it. And, of course, he is thoroughly tipped by many to do really well today. I guess, in theory, beforehand, you would have predicted Sophia and Alex, wouldn't you, to go through. But, I mean, it's not a foregone conclusion at all. Yeah, obviously, Atarito has done really well over previous years. Uh, he has one of the biggest pedigrees in the game as well. Perhaps not delivered as he would have liked in a couple of the tournaments. But of course, don't forget, there's been three times he's been runner-up. He's won the World Finals in 2011. So uh, that's why this group was so difficult. But the first group was difficult as well because we've got eight incredible players here. As uh, Alex looks to start the second half like a house on fire, but it's easy for Pedacek. Yeah, we are going to stay with this clash between Alex and Etarito, but we'll keep you updated with the other match, which has also resumed in the second half. It is still 2-1 to Sofia. We will show you if anything happens as soon as possible. And after the break that we're going to have after this group stage, we will reveal our first key word. So it's important you stay with us because we will give you three key words throughout the day as Etorito's on the charge now with Welbeck. They are in defending well, but not quite well enough. Welbeck oh, still there. God, and they've, come got, and missed it. they've got it. It's another goal. And Etorito has the goal, but he's not quite sure how he's got the goal because <laughs> Pedacek was all over the place. And this is something that we saw in Berlin, for example, where manual goalkeeping comes into play and certain players at certain times will choose to manually use the goalkeeper and sometimes it pays off. In this occasion, 
it didn't. Petacek came rushing off his line to block the cross, missed it. The empty net was there, and Aubameyang made him pay for that mistake. 2-1 to the man from Italy. Yeah, so 2-1 to Etorito as Sofia is winning 2-1 as well. Etorito wants another one. Look at this, Iwobi on the right side for the Italian side. Half an hour for Alex Algathiel to get back because he knows Etorito will be on six points and we believe, don't quote me on this, but we believe it might be Sofia who is leading by two goals to one. We will get clarification on that and if that were the case, or oh, big chance there, then Alex Algathiel will be crashing out of this tournament. Check denying Mkhitaryan as Bayerin clears to Aubameyang. Aubameyang with a nice little back heel to Maitland-Niles on the right side. Aubameyang is there waiting for the ball in the box. So is Mkhitaryan. Mustafi defending well. Well back. Will he seek out Aubameyang? Etorito's Arsenal are forced back onto their own halfway line area. Hopefully we'll give you some clarification of the score in the other game. Who is winning? by two goals to one so that we can tell you exactly who is going to be going through if the scores remain the same. So it's 2-1 between Sofia and Henriquinho. And Henriquinho, we're just waiting for clarification on which way that has swung so that we can tell you how that affects this game. Aubameyang is looking to try and get the ball back for Alex. But it's with Etorito. Iwobi on the right side. A little bit of time to think about what to do next. And I think he's drawn the foul from Koscielny. And that will be a free kick in a reasonably dangerous position. I actually think Henriquinho is actually leading by two goals to one which would put this game well and truly in the balance because that would leave Hamikino with four points Sofia with three points and Alex with four points and Etorito with six points so it would be between Hamikino and Alex Algathiel as they just make a couple of changes to try and sway this last period these are potentially some of the biggest Pez minutes of Alex's year so far. Came into the tournament as one of the clear favourites, but he's playing against a teammate and a player who is also one of the best players in the world. And at the moment, his teammate is not doing him any favours. Atarito, an Italian champion in 2010 and 2012. Dybala is his favourite player. The Argentine. Tense, tense times then in the final 15 minutes between Alex and Etorito. You can sense in the auditorium here the, the, the sense of pressure for all the people watching and the players. It's, it, there's like a, a, a silence, a calm here now uh, as the tension really starts to build in these final 15 minutes between these two games because this is basically knockout football. Uh, right now, as the ball gets played across. Alex in possession. Lacazette and Iwobi trading passes. The younger of the two in possession. Blocked by Etorito's red Arsenal. Kolasinac. Towards Aubameyang, but it's back with Alex. keep dispossessing each other we're into the final 10 minutes at the minute it is advantage to Italy over Spain can Alex turn it around can he do something here with this set piece opportunity so we are hearing Sofia 2 Henry Quino 1 so Sofia will be going through with 6 points and Alex Algathiel will be crashing out I think things stand unless there's been another goal yeah we've just had another goal I'm waiting for confirmation is that two all or is it three one 
We'll find out in a few moments' time. This has massive, massive repercussions on this game. If it's 2-2... And it is 2-2. Henry Kino yeah. has the equalising goal. And that might be a lifeline for Alex Algathiel because that, before that goal, Alex was crashing out. But as I said, he won't be hearing much and seeing much, really. So he won't know. But meanwhile, he'll we've had another goal. It's 3-1 to Etorito. So he knows. Etorito knows he's going through at this moment in time to the knockout stages with six points. And Alex Algathiel is sat there with four points, not knowing whether he's going through or not. Sophia was going through by winning 2-1. He's now conceded. It's 2-2. They've got four minutes to play there. And Sophia, if that stays the same, will he'll be crashing out after conceding that last that late late equaliser. Oh, the tension, the drama. You just can't write it. As we just get an instant replay for the goal there from Etorito. A classic counter-attacking goal from the Italian. Alex Algathiel, as you can see, thinks potentially he might be heading out. Little does he know we had a goal in the other game and the scenes will be great won't they because as you mentioned they are friends they're playing together in co-op so when they find out that they're both through potentially I, do, I don't feel he needed to score a third do you I think that's just <laughs> rubbing salt in the windows if they're friends unfriendly <laughs> we're going into the final minute of it added on time and there's another chance in the other game you can't see it but we can and it's cleared away and that might be the last chance as we are trying to get you some form of information about the two games which we will bring you of course as soon as they have both finished but we believe the other game potentially has finished 2-2 which would of course see both of those players in that game unfortunately head out of the competition and the two players on your screen right now go through yes it is full time so it's two all it has ended between Henriquinho and Sofia and, and that means that Alex and Etorito I think Touch, we, we think Touchwood will be going through on their behalf, of course. I, um, so Etorito will have six, Alex will have four, and they will be going through first and second because Henry Quino will have two and Sophia will have three, four. But it will come to goal difference. It's going to come to goal it? difference. So hold on, has that goal actually done the damage potentially? We need to work it out. But that so goal... we're being told that Alex will be going through if the scores remain the same on goal difference, etc. So he needs his friend not to score another goal at Arito, because yeah, if he does, I think that would swing it against him. We are in the final few moments of this clash between the two arsenals of Alex and so Etorito. Little do they know that one goal for Etorito could sway it one way or the other as Etorito thumps it downfield. Was that a bit of friendship there as he fires it towards the stands? And they both, we believe, are heading through and Etorito.